55 years, man has been able to wipe out more than 90% of top predator species in our oceans. Quite shocking, huh? You see, what does this mean for our ecosystem, you may be asking? This means that man will start moving their way down the ecosystem to predominantly smaller fish down the food chain to predominantly smaller fish. And this will just continue in a more and more vigorous and environmentally chaotic process. You see, the world is quite funny. Man's greed made us believe that we could take things and in some alternate universe, we wouldn't have to pay the price. But you see, that is not the case because everything on this planet has a connection. When one species falls, so do all the rest and nature will always find a way to make its balance. The world is quite funny. You see, as the most powerful species on the planet, with the greatest intellectual capacity, it's ironic that we're the cause of our own problems. But problems will arise, and we cannot comfort ourselves with the famous French saying, c'est la vie. I grew up on a small island a small, rural, isolated island on the south coast of Kenya. It's called Funzi. What does this mean, you may be asking? This means that practically as I grew up, I got attached to two very close things in my life. Number one, my community, and number two, my environment. Funzi is not a rare place on this planet. It's a microcosm of the issues we see on a day-to-day -day basis a microcosm of the problems we face with our environment. You can see them in all tropic regions across very many places in the world. Examples, Mombasa, Mozambique, Zanzibar. The list can go on and trust me, we'll be here quite some time. Most people around the tropics are dependent on two very unstable factors. Number one, your climate. Number two, the slowly reducing capability of our oceans to provide us with the economic commodity of fish. Simply as an island resident, I was able to see these fish populations deteriorate over the years. Practically meaning, the same fish I would see by the jetty aged four in crops, in crocs, were not the same fish I would see there aged 12. Families are strained. When the dry season came, their source of redemption, the ocean was no longer there they were no longer able to depend on this ocean. Practically, let's look at a basic family in Funzi Island. Family of four, two parents, two kids. Family has a few chicken in their farm. They have a few chicken. Some of them decide that they're gonna find feed for this chicken, others let them fend for themselves. These chicken roaming around their own homesteads and to neighboring homesteads where practically all of the